Hi, I'm the Artsy Crafter and today I'm going to show you how to make this Father's Day never-ending card. And I think you'll see as we go through the steps, it's quite easy to make and it's so much fun for the students and for the person who's receiving it. So basically the way the never-ending card works is every time we do something we just rotate the card so that the next page is set up. So the never-ending card is just that. Open it up, rotate it, lots of activities for the kids to do. Open it up, rotate it, and rotate it a last time. Open it up, and rotate it, and you're back at the beginning again. So the never-ending card just keeps spinning round and round for hours of fun for the person who is receiving it, okay? So get your pieces ready and I'll show you how to put your never ending card together. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. So today I'm going to begin with the orange and the green as my base, okay? So I gave you the templates on the site and what I want you to do is make sure you fold as per the dotted lines on the templates. And I always make sure that I fold in both directions. Now, most of my projects I create using regular paper, but with this one I'm using cardstock as my base, just because I think you get a much better result. So according to the directions in the product file, I suggested that you take one color and you place those two pieces together after they're folded horizontally with the cut horizontally and the other two are going to be placed on top and again you can see that they're folded and they're going to be placed so that the seam or the cut is vertical okay and what you're going to do first now is apply the glue so the glue goes in the four corners so watch the the direction of my finger. So glue once, glue in this corner twice, three times, and finally in this bottom corner four times. Okay, so four spots where you're going to put the glue, and then I'll show you what pieces you need to get started. All right, you should have eight of each of these three sizes. So eight of the large, eight of the medium rectangle and eight of the small square size shapes. So again, color everything. If you have any writing to do on them, you can do that next and then you cut them out. Always color, always do writing activities and the last thing you do is cut. All right, have you waited five minutes for your edges to dry? And if you haven't, put this video on pause and wait Mine's ready to go, so I'm going to show you the next step. So it doesn't matter if you put what color you put on the top, whether it's the green or in my case the orange. All that's important is that cut line is on the top. So this time the vertical cut line needs to go like this, okay? So if you've got yours sitting on your table like this right now, just rotate it. So the vertical cut line is facing towards you, okay? Now we're going to just practice opening our book to make sure our edges are creased. So open the book and then again lie it flat and go through the process then of just creasing all of the edges again. Rotate it and I've told you in the directions it doesn't matter which direction you rotate just as long as you always rotate in the same direction. So we've rotated, and then again, you can open it up, lie it flat, and crease all those edges again, and then rotate it one more time, and you're at the back of the card, okay? So that's what I want you to do with the creasing of the edges, and then I'll show you how to begin the gluing. Okay, we're ready to start gluing. I've already glued my first side in place. So in the first side you have two of the large squares and four of the medium rectangles. So yours is going to look slightly different than mine because you'll have chosen different items to put on your front page. That's okay. Just make sure two 
large for medium and make sure that this is how your card opens with that cut line being vertical so glue your first six pieces in place and then I'll show you how to do the next side okay we're ready for the next side so remember what I said it doesn't matter when you rotate which direction you rotate just as long as you always are consistent so what you're going to do is open your card I'm going to rotate mine to the left lie it flat crease any of those edges again and this time you'll need two of the large squares and in the corners you'll need four of the small squares so I'll let you glue those in place okay we're ready to move on to the third page this one's a little bit different this time you're going to open the doors tuck them under but you are not going to rotate what you're going to do now is place two of the large squares and in each of these sections you'll need to have four of the small squares all right so I'll let you glue those in place all right now we're ready for the very last page so you should have two of the very large squares left and four of the medium rectangles left so we're ready for the last page again it's done just slightly different again so we're ready to go what you do is rotate first then open and rotate again looks pretty much like how you started doesn't it all right then you can go ahead and fill in the two large squares and the four rectangles I'll check in with you a minute to make sure it's all perfect okay so there's the last page completed so let me show you what mine looks like so that's the last page I want to go back to the beginning so open it up tuck it under rotate it oh that's where we started open it up tuck it under notice I can see part of the third page starting to appear this time you just tuck and then we rotated opened and rotated again and there you go open it up tuck it under rotate it oh that's so much fun isn't it I bet your students will spend the next 20 minutes opening it up rotating it and having a look so I hope you love your never-ending card I have one for Mother's Day as well and uh, you can find me on Teachers Pay Teachers and TES